In this tutorial, we're going to go over trimming character actions, a new feature in Toonly. Have you ever been frustrated with some of the character actions? For example, the laptop action where they sit down, the desk comes in, and when they get up, the desk and the chair move away. Maybe you just want them sitting there typing quietly the whole time without all of the movement. For example, let's just take a look. I have two characters. Both of them will be sitting at the laptop and typing. The first character is the modified one, and this girl here in the background is the original. So if you go through, you'll see she'll sit down and everything comes in and she begins typing. Then as she leaves, it's the reverse. Meanwhile, our character in the foreground is just typing away. He doesn't have all the movement coming and going. So this new feature called trimming controls that. So let's just take a look at this as it plays. And I'll show you how to do that. So we start by adding a new scene. And we grab a character. We size the character accordingly. We choose our action. We'll do the same one working on a laptop. Okay, so here she is. We'll put her where I had the guy originally. We size it. Now you click on the gear icon and you'll notice right here we've got trim beginning and trim ending. So we're going to trim the beginning and you're just going to drag the slider where you want it to start. So in this case I want to get rid of all this part here, okay? So I'm just going to find a good spot where everything is nice and stable and click save. So that's my starting point. So now She's just typing. We'll address the exit here. Let's make it a little longer. Let's have her here for five seconds, okay? Go into settings. I'm going to have her come in instantly and exit instantly, so we don't have any of that bounce either. Okay, so let's take a look at how that's gonna look. So she's just typing. You'll notice she stood up. Remember, we didn't want that. So now we're going to go ahead and click on her or click on the bar in the timeline. And now we're going to choose trim ending. We're going to do the same thing. We don't want this part. So we're just going to end it right about there and click save. So now if we watch it, she should just be sitting there typing the entire time. And that's it. Now I do want to note a few things about this. So let's go back, let's go to another scene I created. Here I have two identical characters with two identical movements, with the exception of one being default and one being trimmed. Okay, so she's, the one on the left is your default. You'll notice her hand moves up and she searches. Whereas the one on the right just starts already searching. Okay, so her hand is already up. So I trimmed out this movement here. So they're gonna do their thing. Now there's a new movement, they're gonna dance. You'll notice they're identical here. They both move their hands down and they begin dancing. Now I cannot control that because the animation between the two has to match. So for example, if I had ended with her here and then transitioned to the dance move, it wouldn't be smooth. So I cannot control, I can't trim that part. We need to have the movements match. But I can certainly trim the ending. So see how she's got her hands up and then the default one goes down as normal, but the modified one stays up. 
So in between here, you do not get the options to trim. And we can look at that on the menu here. Notice how I can trim the beginning, but there's no trim ending button here. Likewise, on this one, I can trim the ending, but there's no trim beginning here because we need to have that transition between the two actions. You'll also notice that some character actions, you don't get the trim at all. So for example, if we look at our superheroes, when they're idle here, there's no trim at all because there's no need to. You're, what would you be trimming? They're just standing there. There's nothing to trim. Okay, so sometimes you won't see the trim option and that's because it's not available on that particular action. And that's it. Trimming character actions in Tunley. Thanks for watching.